Hey everyone, Brian here. In this installment of Summit Racing Engine Building 101, we're going to cover the hows and the whys of using torque angle for securing connecting rod bolts. Let's go through the actual process. All right, so at this point, uh, we've basically torqued down the caps on seven out of the uh, eight uh, connecting rods. These are the Pro LS connecting rods and pistons. I've got number eight over here. Uh, actually, number one over here, that's number eight. And uh, I wanna show you the torquing procedure and I wanna talk about why we're gonna do it the way we're gonna do it. Um, the, the Pro LS rods, uh, we use ARP 2000 rod bolts in those. It's a very nice connecting rod, 200,000 PSI. Uh, being 7 16 it's 23% thicker than a factory nine millimeter bolt, as a for instance. So it's, it's really stout. Um, now, a lot of people and a lot of you know, folks, they just are used to having an old fashioned torque wrench, which is okay, uh, you know, but the better way to do it is actually torque angle. Uh, what is torque angle? Well, first thing that it's not is torque to yield. That is a different type, type of bolt. Torque angle is really just a way of measuring uh, the stretch of a bolt. It basically uses the thread pitch of the bolt itself to calculate the amount of stretch that it's gonna give itself. In this case, uh, the, the way you do it is you basically run them down to 30 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that basically seats it. There's not a, you can tell that there's no stretch happening really at that point. From there, uh, we've got a very nice AC Delco uh, torque angle wrench that converts back and forth a couple ways. And I'll show you something pretty cool about this one as well. Uh, and then I'm, it'll take you back and see why you know, doing it this way is better uh, than with a typical uh, torque wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and seat these down just a little bit more. We've used the supplied lube with this on the threads, which are up in here, and then the underhead of the bolt, which is here. That reduces friction and makes for nice, consistent readings. I'll put that wrench down, pick up our very nice torque angle gauge, and I have it set for 30 foot-pounds of torque initially. I'm gonna take that, move it back here, make sure I'm seated fully, come down, Nineteen twenty-two. Okay, 30 foot-pounds of torque on that one. Come back, do number two. 24. 30 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, again, another nice feature, just kind of uh, helps you know when you're sneaking up on it, one good solid pull. Now at this point, we switch up the wrench and we give it 50 degrees of torque angle. Okay, now this is pretty neat here. When you start it, put it back on, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a place where you've got a full 50 degrees of swing without any issues. Okay, here we go. Starting our 50 degrees, 10 degrees, 20, 30, 50 foot-pounds of torque. Now. If you take a look at that, that also indicates 89 foot-pounds of torque. That is the number that the wrench knew uh, was occurring when we hit our full 50 uh, degrees of swing. Why are we using torque angle rather than foot-pounds of torque? The reason why is bolts, when they're new, uh, they, they stretch a little bit for the first six or so times uh, that you use them and you kind of just get them pulled into place. Uh, the problem is, is you know, these bolts typically like, after they're stretched, to be about 82 foot-pounds of torque. Um, the problem is, from the first time through the sixth time that you actually hit 82 foot-pounds of torque, you're not seeing the same amount of stretch on the bolt. Stretch is actually what's important. A fastener is actually a spring, and it's clamping the connecting rod together. So, with torque angle, what you're basically doing is using the thread pitch of the bolt, and you're basically mathematically going through and figuring out the length that it's gonna extend when you turn that a certain amount of degrees. Be sure to like and subscribe to get more of our how-to, technical, and installation videos. Thanks for watching.